Hello, my name is Shigehi Takakura. I'm in Kagoshima University, Japan. In this presentation, I will talk about our recent ALMA result of uh, protostellar binary L50 IS5. IS5. And this result has been published in this paper, and please check this paper if you have time. Let me start with introduction. Uh, this study is binary formation. As you know, uh, more than half of solar type stars are binaries. So to understand more general uh, star formation, we have to understand uh, what physical mechanisms to determine the property of the binaries, such as mass ratio, separation, and uh, circumbinary disks, CPTs, a uh, mass reservoir for the protostellar binaries. So details of the versions of the circumbinary disks, which can resolve the gas motion inside the heat ready, should be a key. So our target is protostellar binary, class one protostellar binary, L5051 IS5. This table shows uh, properties of our target. Uh, the total binary mass is 0.5 solar mass. Binary, binary mass ratio is unity, separation, and uh, radius of the second binary disk is 60 AU. So we observe this protostellar binary with ALMA in 0.9 millimeter dust continuum emission, CA2321, and also the other band seven lines. And the angular resolution is 0.07 arc second, and the velocity resolution is 0.2 kilometer per second. So let's, let me show our result. First, uh, this figure shows 0.9 millimeter dust continuum image of L50 from IS5. So there are two panels, but both panels show the same thing, but uh, different contour levels. So uh, you can see uh, two uh, second stellar disks associated with individual protostars. And around this binary, you see a uh, structure of second binary disk. And here, the arm-like feature extending from uh, northeast from uh, northern binary star. We call this source N. And from source S, the other uh, arm, spiral arm, is seen like this. So we suggest uh, the second binary disk consists of two spiral arms. Yes. And also, uh, this color scale shows a uh, brightness temperature of 0.9 millimeter dust continuum emission. So at the peak of uh, circumstellar disks, the brightness temperature exceeds 200 Kelvin, which is pretty high. So uh, circumstellar disks, uh, the temperature is very high. So next, uh, let me show you a uh, result of molecular line. So this is, a uh, uh, okay, first, this right panel shows a uh, moment zero map of CNTO 3 to 2 emission in contour, and gray scale is a 0.9 millimeter continuum emission uh, in the last slide. So along this, along the major, and also minor axis of this second binary disk, we made a position velocity diagram in the CA2 3 to 2 emission. So along the major axis, you can see clear uh, rotation, spin up rotation signature. And uh, these dotted curves show Keplerian rotation at with 0.5 and one solar masses. So this spin-up signature is approximately consistent with uh, Keplerian rotation with a central stellar mass of 0.5, mm, 0.5 solar mass. And along the minor axis, 
there, there's also velocity gradient like this. And since uh, western side is far side, and eastern side is uh, near side, and uh, far side shows red shifted, and near side shows blue shifted, which means uh, expansion in the circumboundary disk. And furthermore, uh, if you come close to uh, individual binary stars, the velocity increase is even more than the, uh, the scapularian rotation with 0.5 solar mass. So the rotation velocity becomes faster, closer to the binary. So let's start discussion. First, uh, spiral signature in 0.9 millimeter continuum emission. So we made a uh, supercomputing modeling of uh, circumbinary disk in L53 IS5 and uh, radio deep plasma calculation. So this is uh, that model, image of that model. And we also made an uh, ANIMA observing simulation and the result is this one. So as you see, uh, the spiral arm signature, two arm spirals are also seen in our model. And also uh, the expanding motion in the second binary disk in, in the observations are also reproduced with the model. And these, uh, these real uh, the expanding motion and spiral feature uh, caused by uh, gravitational torque from the binary. So in this sense, uh, our model reproduces uh, with the best result. But on the other hand, uh, the extent of the second binary disk, as you see, the model extent is obviously larger than that of the observation. So in our model without the magnetic field, we cannot reproduce uh, the, this compact signature of the second binary disk. So one of the possible reasons is a uh, magnetic field could confine the second binary disk. The next discussion is gas motion inside the helio D. Yeah, this uh, right panel shows uh, 0 0.9 millimeter continuum emission. I mean, zoom in the view of the 0 0.9 millimeter continuum emission. And along the line passing through source N and source S, and along this line, uh, we made uh, another position velocity diagram, this velocity, position velocity diagram of ca 2 32 emission. Then uh, we also uh, draw dashed lines of a Lagrangian point, A1 point, A2, A3 point. Okay, and uh, this orange curve shows the expected uh, capillary rotation of second binary disk with a central mass of 0.5 solar mass. So in the position outside the L2 or L3 point, this velocity is approximately consistent with a uh, circumbinary disk rotation. But if you get closer and inside the L2 or L3 point, uh, the velocity increase, suddenly increase more than that of uh, the second binary disk rotation. So this means a uh, transition from second binary disk to circumstellar disk rotation at L2 and L3 Lagrangian point. And also around L1 point, you can see uh, low velocity gas okay, with some velocity gradient. And what is the origin of this one? 
So again, uh, this is the same PV in the left, uh, left panel, and uh, middle panel is uh, PV of our model, and uh, right panel is uh, Z from our numerical simulation. So you can see uh, between these two bind, uh, source N and source S, there's a, this bridge feature around L1 point. And we consider this component to raise uh, this bridging gas structure around L1 point. And indeed, our, uh, our model in the molecular lines, CNTO model, can also reproduce this signature. So there are, there are bridging gas component around L1. Here is a summary of my talk. So our atom observations found two spiral arms in the second binary disk, which shows expanding gas motion caused by the gravitational torque from the binary. And the radius, the size of the second binary disk, observed size is smaller than the model. This could be due to uh, B field confine confinement. And finally, our observation resolved the structure inside the hill radius, and we found the transition from the circumbinary disk to circumstellar disk rotation and building gas component around L1. Thank you very much. Stop it. <laughs>